seen it. Um, I think it's very important that this issue is getting highlighted on a national stage uh, this evening. Uh, there's a lot of farmers put in a lot of work over the last 12 days on this site and other sites around the country. And we're very grateful to Mary Lou and to Matt. Uh, Matt this is not Matt's first visit uh, by any matter of means. And we're very grateful to the other politicians, I think, have a responsibility now to step up to the mark um, and change things in this industry because farmers have been bet into the ground for decades and it has to change. The big issue now, the narrative is changing in this discussion all the time. Now that farmers are mobilised, we need to start talking about the problems in this industry. The milk industry has a strategy. The co-ops work with the farmers. The only communication, the only strategy we get from, from the beef factories, we hear from them, they're pulling the price. That's not a strategy. Okay, and that strategy has run out for them now as far as we're concerned because that is no longer an option. They can't keep dropping the price. They need to come up with coherent strategy and plan for this industry to work with their stakeholders and work with their farmer suppliers to ensure there's a sustainable future in rural Ireland. These people have responsibilities. They have economic responsibilities for the economy of rural Ireland and they need to live up to those responsibilities. Short-term profiteering will not ensure the survival of rural Ireland. And these people need to start thinking medium term, long term and bigger picture. They are massive corporate industries and they have a social responsibility to rural Ireland that they need to live up to. And I'd like to thank Mary Lou uh, for her support.